Hi, it's Lakeisha Renee of Lakeisha Renee Entertainment, and I am here live at the New Jersey Horror Con and Film Festival with my favorite ladies, the Soska Sisters, Jenna Hi. Sylvia. Like y'all don't understand how excited I am. I've been following them forever on Twitter. And which one I was speaking to on Twitter again? That's her. Oh yeah. So yeah, we're we're connected. But <laughs> to finally meet them is like a dream come true. And they're like the most friendliest people here. Just love them so much. <laughs> So honored. Sweet in real life too. I was looking forward to this. Yeah. You're so beautiful inside and out, and that's the most beautiful you can be. Yeah, you're gorgeous. Thank you. Gorgeous. Oh, thank you. We're just very Canadian. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Wonderful. Wonderful. All righty, ladies. So, what brings you to the con this year? Well, we have never been to Atlantic City before, so we were very excited to be able to come to this. And uh, Rabbit is just coming out. It just finished its European release. We have our North American premiere in Los Angeles at Scream Fast on Tuesday, and then uh, at 9.30 at the Chinese Theater. And then uh, December 13th, we have uh, Shout Factory doing a theatrical VOD uh, and Blu-ray release uh, this year, so it's really exciting. That's exciting. I was literally just at the Chinese Theater in Los Angeles um, a couple weeks ago. I went to the Emmys, so I was out there oh, and nice. sightseeing, all that stuff. It was oh, great. So. Oh, yeah. They still do that? <laughs> Great. Alrighty, ladies. So I have this question because you're women of many talents, you know, writers, directors, producers, actresses. Which is your favorite to do? Wow. Mine would definitely be writing because at that moment, it's as weird and wonderful and inside my mind as I like. And I, I have so much fun creating that way. I would say directing, even though it's one of the hardest jobs. I like helping things be better and I'm always kind of directing and tweaking things in life. So on set, people have to listen to me when I direct in life sometimes they refuse my my good judgment and advice <laughs> so that's why I like the, I like directing for that it's, it's a good being in power I'm an actress myself and a woman of many talents and I would have to say hmm what's my favorite be hosting. I, yeah. I really, I really do kind of like interacting with people. Like this is so cool to meet all my favorite people, and I like acting too. You know, to get to be another person, yeah. but like meeting and up close and personal with people is like super cool. Love you're it. Very super. charismatic. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. You know, I modeled in you know in my day. <laughs> There's Fashion Week and stuff. I mean, just look at you. Thank you. Ladies' clothes all week. (laughs) Always make sure we come fashionable. (laughs) You know, you gotta, even though you come and have fun, come fashionable. Uh And and camera ready all the time. Yes, yes, yes. So, out of all your projects that you've, you know, worked on and filmed, which one did you have the most fun filming? Wow. I'd have to say Dead Hooker in a Trunk, her very first one. We made it for $2,500, and I didn't know anything about filmmaking, but, you know, it's kind of like the joy of being a fool. I had no idea what trouble I'd run into, so I was very deliriously naive, but happy. <laughs> I really loved being a host on Elevator because we didn't have the responsibility of being a producer, a director, and anything. And some days they'd be like, this giant spider, you get to throw that on someone. I'm like, that's my job today? Done. Done. I'm afraid of spiders, so the, I compliment you for that. How? Well, cure me because I can't even look at them. I just see them, even a baby, and just run away. Why are you telling uh, me this now? Uh, uh, look, I, mean, I, look, I know my hands you. freezing, but oh my God. <laughs> I'm, I'm always cold. But yeah, I'm, I'm terrified, definitely afraid of spiders. So if you can cure me, please. I can't even kill one in my house. It's like, I can't see well, me. Come to my house. I can't be. That's a good start. I'm going to get like a tarantula skin, and it looks exactly oh. like one, and then just you can know that it's harmless mm-hmm. and then just like build from there because mm-hmm. they look exactly like the tarantula but they're a great trainer to be like okay it's not that bad yeah. wow. also tarantulas are super super lazy yeah mm-hmm. they would never attack you mm-hmm. and wow, to man. get rid of spiders you can burn incense because they can't mm-hmm. filter it out from their lungs so oh, they wow. avoid it oh, yeah, so I'm gonna morning. be burning I'm gonna be burning a lot of incense at home because I'm terrified of them y'all I'm terrified I can't <laughs> <laughs> but, but back to the dead hooker um, in the trunk. <laughs> Wasn't that somebody's like college project film? Yeah, that was our. Uh, we went to a film school mm-hmm. that was really a film mm-hmm. school name only. It was really mm-hmm. more of a cold read course. Mm-hmm. And they had a final project where you're supposed to do a short. And we did a fake trailer for Dead Hooker in a oh, Trunk. Wow. And it was sight unseen, shown, and half the audience got up and left. And the other half was cheering so loud that they demanded we play it twice. And then oh, they wow. said, 
hey, when are you doing the feature? So we did what you always do in this business if you can pull it off. We, we lied. lied. <laughs> and we said that, yeah, we have a feature. We're shooting it next. So we just put a list of all our assets together and for paid for what we absolutely had to and made it during the writer's strike. And That's amazing. For 2500 Canadian dollars. Wow. For 2500 Canadian dollars. That's amazing. <laughs> Thank amazing. You. So I know you ladies are like super passionate about like donations and blood drives. Can you oh, talk yeah. a little more on that? Well, when the Women in Horror Month first started, and that's every February, and this year it's going to be their 10th year. Uh, 11th. 11th year. It's just yeah. their 10th year. And uh, they were asking, what can we do to give back? And we're like, well, I don't want Women in Horror to seem like a charity case because we're very capable. We should we should help the world. And Jen was like, well, what is a big cause that is like in the same realm? And they're like, blood. Why do people not donate blood? Because they're scared. And in real life, you have to deal with tiny pricks all the time. Wouldn't it be nice if you were saving six lives while you did that so you know it, it's a cause we've been doing for about 11 years now 11 years now wow and we do PSAs every year uh, and then we get female filmmakers and even our male allies to make PSA drives so we can make like it look like donating blood is cool which it totally is and yeah. painless <laughs> and it's something everybody can do because I mean we're all feeling the crunch financially but blood once a year even it makes such a difference the shelf life is only three months so we continuously need fresh donors yeah. and it's seniors who are the biggest donors so young people get off seniors. your ass give some of that blood away all that huh? blood young blood it's young in you blood. Blood. look look tiger yeah. blood <laughs> <laughs> That is great. So, one more question for you ladies. Um, what would you give, you know, what kind of advice would you give to anyone that wants to get in the business, whether it's, you know, acting, directing, producing? What advice would you give to them? I would say follow your stupid fucking dreams. They're the best dreams worth having, and anyone that says you can't achieve them is a dream stealer. It's somebody who's given up on their dreams, and they don't want to see you succeeding because it's going to make them realize, I failed at something I hate instead of trying to succeed at something I love. So don't let anyone ruin and anything for you. If you love it in your heart, follow it. And if you stay true to it, you're going to get there. I mean, look at us. We started at nothing from dead hooker in a trunk to dead ringers almost. Yeah. Um, when I was a little girl, my grandfather gave me 20 bucks to get a fish for my cat. Wait, I'm going somewhere with this. And I went over and I was like, can I please get a fish? And they gave me the fish and the $20 back. And I went to my grandfather and I was like, I don't understand what happened. And he said, well, you were polite. And he said, if you treat people with kindness and respect, the whole world will open up to you. Doesn't matter if you want to be an actor, actress, anything. You make anyone's life a little easier. That's the most important thing. And especially ladies. We've been trained to hate each other. Mm -hmm. Love everyone. Even that loud ass bitch that you hate. Defend her right to be that loud ass bitch because that could be you. It's nice to be important, but it's more, more important, important to be nice. nice. Yes, I agree. I'm, I'm huge on that. I'm very humble and yes. I, oh, I, yeah. I call all my girls queens, goddesses, yes. and we help each other. That's how it's supposed yeah. to be. Women United support y'all yes well <laughs> well thank you ladies so much for giving me this opportunity to interview y'all like it's thank been you. a dream of mine forever oh thank finally thank you so much and enjoy the rest of the horror con oh, thank you, thank you.